happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In Out of the Box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap that bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us is the Clue Blute RD218. This is an AM FM stereo shortwave digital portable radio. You can find this on Amazon selling for around $18.90. It represents an amazing deal. This would make my top 10 under $20 list if I made one this year in 2023. It's that good. Right there in the first minute, you know how I like this radio. <laughs> so here's the box that comes in, pretty basic. Illustration of the radio. Um, there's, a, I believe, an AM-FM version out there and also an AM-FM NOAA weather band version as well. This is the shortwave version, which I was pretty excited about. And it has a couple extra features that are also fun. So there you go, got band information there on the front. Pretty cool, you can see they got a couple different steppings there. You got nine kilohertz and 10 kilohertz. And of course you have different FM bands, which I'm gonna show you. Really neat options for this radio. So took everything out of the box, pretty basic stuff. Let's go ahead and set the box aside and show you what comes in the box. Star of the show, the RD218 shortwave version. Awesome. With the time showing, I like that. Uh, when the radio's on, you can hit the time button. And if you're trying to log something, you can get the time instantly. I thought that was another neat feature. So whoever designed the programming of it did a good job. Pretty happy with most of all the features. So let's go ahead and go to the manual. Yes. <laughs> Can't forget about the manual. Now there's some things you might need to know in here for posterity's sake. So I'm going to go ahead and just go through the manual real quick. And you can freeze frame if you need to know anything. It's in case you lose your manual or you don't quite understand something. You can always timestamp it and ask me. What does this mean, Totterbert? And I'll figure it out, or try to. <laughs> so there you go, you got buttons on what they do, display screen, shows FM stereo. There's a little lightning symbol, uh, which is cool. It has quick tuning, which is fantastic. Over here we have the clock, of course, radio. You get, I believe, 30 presets per band. Very nice. I'll mention these things in case I forget to later. <laughs> Manually searching with the tuning knob, which is nice, or the there's some button combinations I believe you can seek tune and you can also fast tune with that plus and minus key. I'll show you that in action. All right, so done with that page. Let's flip it over and then we'll be done with this manual. I'm trying to keep my thumb off the writing. Okay, so there we go. There is setting up the clock, I believe, and the alarm clock. So you can wake up to radio or alarm buzzer. That's nice. You got troubleshooting here if you need to know. Uh, let's see, that's part of the other operation and functions. There's a lock function, very cool. Uh, devices memory function, it keeps searched saved radio stations, nice. Batteries are taken out, the memory will be lost. Oh, that's a bummer. So I think you have a certain amount of time to change the batteries. Okay, over here specifications, we'll zoom in on that, there you go. As you can see, uh, 30 presets per band, FM, AM, and shortwave, giving you 90 presets total. Nice. It runs on two AA batteries. Also nice. <laughs> Special attention. This is really cool. This is your four different bands. So you have four different band plans. If you look, you got China, Southeast Asia, and Europe, Japan, Russia, and the United States, and the Americas. And you can switch in between that by holding down certain button combinations. I believe it's one and time when the radio is off. And then you can cycle which band plan you want with the plus and minus key. And then when you land on the band you want, you let go and it'll automatically lock it in. Very nice. I did it, it works. <laughs> There's the manual, done. Let's move to the radio, dimensions. We have two and three quarter inches wide, five inches in height, and just under an inch at seven eighths of an inch in thickness. Very cool. So it's definitely a good pocket size radio. Even though it's a little longer, it's still pretty thin. Let's do a little size comparison. We have CC Pocket in the house. Now, current time, I'm shooting this in the morning. Figure what the heck. It's uh, 9.32 a.m. I'm Central Standard Time. I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. So you know where my location is as I tune the radio. Uh, if we pick up any shortwave stations, pretty neat. Hopefully we do. So there's CC Pocket. We have uh, CC Skywave, I believe. Single sideband, give you an idea. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Had this out, listening to ham radio operators. 
pretty neat for a compact portable radio. It does it all. That gives you an idea. You're looking at 170 versus 120. <laughs> there you are. And of course, you don't have those two radios. I understand how that is. You may have a deck of playing cards. Most people do. And I have Iron Man. <laughs> He's the man with the master plan. He loves cool blutes in each hand. He's Iron Man. He wants to collect them all when he can. And of course, he loves the shortwave band. He's Iron Man. Buy a cool blute today. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, they make some cool radios. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over features of the Clue Blute. There's quite a bit to go over, and then we'll turn it on and do an audio demo. And then we'll cruise through the band, see what we can hear today. So let's go to the left-hand side of the radio. we got an integrated carry strap. I like having those. Our volume control there. A textured finish on the case. The case seems okay. Um, it does feel like it's rather inexpensive plastics, but again, it's a sub-$20 radio. I'm not expecting super premium like say a Sanjin or CC Pocket, which are 40 to $60 plus. Um, I'm happy with this, this is just fine. Uh, on the front here, we got a display, Clue Blue, in case you wanna know, kind of fun name. Battery life uh, indicator there. Time showing, 24 hour clock. Handy, now that clock's cool. If you're on a radio station, it shows frequency. If you want to know the time, you just tap the time button and the time will show up and it goes away right back to frequency. That's nice if you're trying to log, say you found a, a rare station on FM or on shortwave. Yeah, that's pretty cool, love that. Uh, of course, you got portable AM, FM, shortwave radio. I uh, have a power button, and then when the power's on, you can cycle FM, AM, shortwave bands. We have three favorite buttons, which is pretty cool. So on each band, you get three favorites, giving a total of nine favorites um, on top of the 30 each. So it's like 33 presets per band, which I think is pretty awesome. So you have that. Next button is scan. This this feature, this radio doesn't have a way of manually doing presets, which is kind of a bummer. That's one thing I want to see added to this radio is a way to manually add the preset I want. I don't want to scan because when you scan, you press and hold, it saves. You get the 30 presets, right? On FM, this radio is killer on FM. You'll get to know that in a moment. Um, and when it scans, it uses up all 30 before it even gets to 98 megahertz. <laughs> It's like, dude, <laughs> you know, it's it's not fun. Shortwave, it's okay because I don't get 30 stations uh, most of the time. But uh, on FM, yeah, that was kind of a, like, what the heck? <laughs> um, you can delete them with the delete key, but you can't add them manually. Shortwave, you can see it says SW there. Let me go up close and personal. There you go. SW means uh, shortwave. So when you're shortwave band, you tap this button. It changes the meter bands to get you quickly uh, through the shortwave band to where you want to be. Uh, you can also quick tune, which I'll talk about here. Uh, on this side, you can see there's like a little light symbol and a lock. So of course, if you press and hold this, it'll lock the radio down. Got a little lock symbol there. Press it again, hold, unlock the radio. That's nice. If you tap it once, the buttons light up and so does the screen with this amber backlight. I think that's awesome. So at night, you get this five second delay of light and you can see where your buttons are at. I like that a lot. Um, and it feels good, these responsive buttons, they feel really nice to press. So that's your, your backlight, looking good. <laughs> uh, alarm set, sleep function set. So you can set the sleep timer, 100 minutes down to 10 minutes, that's nice. Uh, here you can set the time, you got delete function, so if you have a couple uh, presets that the auto scan found, you can delete them. Even though you can't add them, at least you can delete the ones that sound like nothing, like a found static. Um, you can do that, which is nice. Uh, also over here we got the plus and negative. So this is to navigate the presets. It's this is these are kind of tricky. So I'm, I'm, let's talk about the trickiness of them. When the radio's on, I'll try to show an example. Uh, so you go down preset, up preset. So that's how you may basically do it. If you press and hold, let go. It's seek tunes. Well, that's kind of difficult to do. So I don't recommend using these for seek tune. You can also seek tune with the tuning knob by moving it fast forward or down. You know, with this here, this tuning knob on the side. I'd recommend using that for seek tune because if you don't do it right, you'll just jump a preset and then you're somewhere where you don't want to be, especially on the shortwave band. <laughs> Not fun. But these are really cool for fast tune. So if you want to fast tune down the band or fast tune up the band, press and hold and it'll zip through the band, especially on shortwave. It is fast, <laughs> and I love quick tune. Amazing. So, and of course, I mentioned about those four different band plans. Um, I believe it's the warning time button, 
you'll, when the radio's off, you hold one and time simultaneously. And now it's flashing the band plan. You just change it by hitting plus or minus. I don't want to do that because it might destroy my presets. But hit that again. And of course, yeah, just change it to the four different band plans you need. So you get the 9 kilohertz or the expanded FM band that you want. And uh, it automatically will save after you've picked your selection. Awesome. Top of the radio, we have our antenna, which is rather small. See, this radio is long. I think they could put a longer antenna in it. Um, this is a, what is this thing, like nine inches? I can't remember now. It's pretty small. No, it's seven and three quarter inches. It fits on my camera. Look at that. <laughs> um, it is amazing on FM uh, and actually shortwave, believe it or not. But um, it could do better. I know it can. You clip a wire on here, you definitely get improved reception. So cool boot, if you're watching, that's another thing. You could add a longer antenna. Uh, but otherwise, it's fantastic. This thing is just absolutely amazing on sensitivity, even with this little antenna. So I know this radio can do way better um, with a longer antenna. So, uh, okay, headphone jack. So headphone experience. I love FM stereo on this radio. It sounds fantastic. Um, Though when you go to the lowest setting, you can still hear the radio. Um, so if you like really low level listening, yeah, you're not going to be able to go all the way to zero. You're still going to hear something playing at the lowest level. And it may not be as low as you like it. Um, it's not loud. It's low, but you'll still hear the radio. That could be something fixed as well. When you turn the volume down, I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, but that's something to, to mention. Um, let's see. It has nice lows in FM, strong mids, decent highs. Again, stereo on most stations, it sounds fantastic. This thing is super sensitive, um, and it pulls in FM stations like nobody's business, and FM stereo on almost every station makes me happy. <laughs> this is definitely awesome for FM. Uh, AM, the headphone is nice even tone, good for sports talk. I enjoyed it on headphones, listening to AM band, and same with the shortwave band. It's a good experience on headphones. Okay, and of course, I showed you the tuning knob, it's a digital uh, encoder, and then of course you just go quick to seek tune up, quick down to seek tune down. Pretty simple. Back of the radio, we're almost going to turn it on. Hang in there. We have our little chart. Okay, and then down here we have two AA batteries with a captured battery door. And as you can see, there's our two batteries. Positive top battery, positive to the left, and the bottom battery positive is to the right. There you go. Done. And this should click in. Pretty snug, I believe. Yeah, there we go. All right. So FM reception report, then we'll turn it on. <laughs> FM reception report, this is the best part. It scored a good to very good, so three and a half star rating. I start out at fair, okay, good, very good. Excuse me, very good, excellent. So five stars is excellent. Not many radios achieve that. Most analog radios of the day, uh, say back in the 80s and 90s, um, they score about 48 stations found, something like this. And uh, that's an okay to good category, which is average for most analog radios. This is well above average on FM reception, even with that tiny 8-inch antenna. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. Uh, also, I want to mention that the speaker here is 2 inches and sounds halfway decent, which you'll get to hear in a moment. Uh, also, on FM, uh, its selectivity was fantastic. Good, very good. Another 3.5-star rating. Um, just crazy. So 73 stations found. Good to very good on sensitivity and good to good good to very good on selectivity. Awesome. So let's turn this thing on. Press and hold. <laughs> there we go. Now I have AC Cream FM transmitter transmitting royalty free music to my radio so we can play music without worry of copyright. I have an MP3 player attached to my C Crane transmitter. So let's go ahead and turn that on and bring it in. There we go, so you can see what's playing. Turn it up. Yeah, for about a minute or so.
can get it pretty quiet. There you go. Cool. Alrighty, so let's get the band scan this radio. Yeah, let's see what this thing can do. Turn off this transmitter, turn off the MP3 player. Okay, so as you can see right now, we're displayed the frequency, 9770. It tunes, I believe, and yeah. Uh, like this here, so you're not it's not tuning like every 200 megahertz. Excuse me, 200 kilohertz. So it's going by ones. Okay, so what I want to show you is that the one means my favorite station. There's a few of them. So yeah, we're going to do an FM band scan. So let's go ahead and hook up my, I'm in a downstairs subfloor basement. It needs a little help. I have a little 12 foot wire going to the inside of my window to the west here, just above ground. So I can get a little reach out of this basement here. So we're going to go ahead and just go to the bottom of the band. We'll seek tune. Here we hear. Oh, started seeking already. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this up. And uh, yeah, and we'll hit the shortwave band and show you how this works. So seek tuning, you can do you can do incremental tuning here. Attachment cell is is where somebody grew up in an environment where they had I think parents really have to set the stage. I find if it lands on a strong station, it's distorted. Just go up, down, go up or down one and go back to that station frequency, and it'll be fine. Kids have to know that it's safe to talk to parents about things that are really important to them. Lisa, really briefly, anything to add? You do conversation. It's funny. I, I've lived in New York. Guard our hearts. The title of the series is Guard Your Because teenagers will say something like, you know, what would you do if you caught me smoking? You are of a miserable death. No work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger. Of the city's 50 city council seats could be decided. So that we could be made right with... Fallen in love with the music. By poszerzą uprawianie. Try to choose for The sensitivity and selectivity on this thing is amazing on FM. As you get an idea as I'm going. Center. Benchmark that makes you feel good about and cakes and a gift card. Saturday and Sunday at the Hammonds Country.
Have an awesome day with the mix. The morning mix on 101.9 The Mix. Hey, it's Chris from I give you the 100 usage. through. I'm going to do it really fast on the short wave and I'll show you how to do that. But FM is where the sink shines. So there we go. So let's go to the shortwave band. Awesome. So you can change the band here by hitting the shortwave button. There's the different uh, segments of the shortwave band. So we can start here. Um, it's, I believe, continuous, uh, no matter where you start or stop. Now, here are buttons. These are the presets I already have set up in the shortwave. So daytime. Think too much about it. At the time, I just miss them thieves. Favorites. It's pretty cool. So 15 megahertz for columns. Colorado. Some kind of music playing there on 1779. I have presets here. 10 megahertz. I hear just a little faint signal there. Faint. These, are, these I did yesterday. Or the day before this video. <laughs> I like to think of that, but time. Some music again. Okay, so WWV on 20 megahertz. Very nice. Okay, so to show you fast tuning, say you want to get to something quick, um, press and hold, like say we want to go down. And it'll go, and all of a sudden lightning symbol will show up, and it'll really crank. Look at that thing go Ooh, all the way down the band, and boom. And then, of course, it's seek tuning right now. And I found something. Sweet. Shortwave is great on here. You'll love it. Let's go back up. Now, yeah, if you do that right, you'll get the seek right. It gives enough time before it starts fast tuning, which is nice. Um, so you can use these buttons for seek if you're good. Good about it, but if you hit them too short, you'll engage with the preset like that. Now we're in some weird preset. Back into existence or effect again. Press and hold, and we can fast tune all the way up. I love that. Just great for this kind of radio. So, yeah, you got a pretty much idea what the shortwave can do. That stops the scan when you hit the light button. Nice. So let's go ahead and go to the AM band. No, la verdad no. Uh, if you want to sign or trade, do that. I was trying to find out separate. Help me with the disconnect. So this radio is good mainly for local, semi-locals on the AM band. Evening, you might pick up some long distance stations, possibly. I know it's the weakness uh, on the AM band, even in the evening. Um, it has a low or slow acting AGC automatic gain control circuit. It's okay on locals, and I'm happy with that. That's fine. Uh, shortwave is a treat. FM is fantastic. Uh, I'm, I'm happy. 
and I can get my locals here and send my locals. How did they? How did his story change? How did they catch him in some? It was terrible. I wouldn't go back under the knife. She missed working in. Seven twenty to BGN. Was about to change. QC Kinetics used natural biologics to treat Paula. No foreign substances. They provided regenerative. Montrose. Twenty minutes out. We'll hear the Edens inbound. Uh, seeing brake lights as you make your way under. Seven eighty to BBM. They have old time radio at night. Twelve a.m. to one a.m. Central Standard Time. And if you can pick it up, uh, tune it in. It's fun. The outbound side is okay. Southbound I-55 still jammed for four miles. You can in Will County, you're jammed up from US-52. Um, but I kind of figured it's time to call in. WLS, uh, Chicago. <laughs> Christopher Ray was on. Relevant radio. 9.30, uh, WPKM, I believe. We're almost through. That's going to basic. Showing you how this sounds. Uh, 970 WHA in Madison, Wisconsin. I want to see what 580. I wonder if I can pick up 580. So we'll go, we're going quick speed. Holy crap, too fast. <laughs> it goes quick. Okay, so it passed. Alcohol impairment. Here's presets. Um, so let's go. It indicates down. the blood alcohol. This way, manually tune. And it's time to 580. There we are. So this is 150 miles to the south. Usually it's a pretty strong station. So WILL, NPR station out of Urbana, Illinois. There you go. Cool. So let's go, uh, let's see. What do I got? I got more. Let's see. We got 1,000. WMVP, Chicago. And more cash outs allow you to stay in the action all... Got some music on 1030. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool station. I like listening to it, uh, even though it's ethnic programming. Uh, it's cool. Sometimes I don't know what's going on, but, you know, that's the fun part of it. WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. WXCS, Chicago. A flat three and a quarter percent income tax, but they add that Governor Evers has made it clear he won't be that Milwaukee. proposal. More the senior pastor of Quentin Road Baptist Church in Lake Zurich, Illinois. Here's WYLL, uh, Hope for Your Life, Chicago Radio. Uh, Chicago Radio. <laughs> Hope for Your Life, Christian Radio, Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> um, they do a lot of uh, shows during the morning. Actually nearing the end of our series, we have several weeks. And then the squirrel, 1180, I pick up. WSQR, Sycamore, Illinois. But if I remember right, past 1400 gets pretty difficult. So let's see what it does here during the day. So I can't pick up anything uh, past 1400 pretty much. So the band's pretty much stops, stops there. Okay, cool. Well, that gives you an idea for what it can do. Great for locals on AM and good for semi-locals. So there it is. All right, so we'll go ahead and just power this down, press and hold. There you are. Awesome radio, Clue Blute, RD218. It gets a recommended buy for me. This thing is cool because FM is fantastic. Headphones with FM stereo sounds great. It's a treat, especially listening to shortwave and uh, AM as well on the headphones. I do love the fast tuning on the shortwave band, of course, segmented. Uh, I, a few things I don't like is not being able to add my own presets, but you still get 30 presets uh, per band. 30 presets on shortwave is pretty decent. Uh, I do like that. And, of course, for AM, since AM doesn't pick up a ton, it picks up enough uh, for me to be happy. But for some, it may not. You might want to be, you know, they might want a better receiver for AM. It's just totally up to you. I really like this. I love this backlighting here on the buttons and on the screen. And I like the feel of the buttons, too. They feel good, like they changed it. Uh, it's definitely they feel clickier and more responsive. Um, just really nice. And, of course, you got your three favorites. These are always great to have on a radio. You know, like the CC Pocket has five immediate 
ones here. Those are fantastic. You get to navigate to your favorite station immediately, and that's the way to go. So if you enjoyed this video, again, big like for me, big like for the radio. Links below if you want to support the channel and get one. Uh, you'll have fun with it. Double A battery power. Uh, yeah, should last you quite a bit of time. Two, if you like Cool Blue, subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of future radios from this company. And three, comment below what you think about the RD218 shortwave version. Is it for you? Let me know. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in my next video.